So let's talk a little bit about passing variables in functions. So we can uh, use functions in a bunch of different ways. Uh, obviously, whenever possible, we want to make them reusable. Let's go ahead and clean that up. So what I've got here is I've got this main that asks for an input. And uh, I might often put my print statement right here in main, but we're growing beyond that now. Um, we're going to learn that print statements usually can be their own functions because then they're reusable, right? So I'm going to create a function that prints names. So def, and we're going to call it print names because it's as good a name as any. And uh, what's its job? It's going to print your name is. All right, so we can see a few things that are going on now. I've got this function that gets called, main gets called, it gathers a username. Um, but I need to get that username down here to this print statement. Now, functions don't know anything about each other. They're like little tiny programs all in themselves. Um, so the only way they can move things back and forth is by patching, catching and returning them. So this is how, or passing and returning them. So this is how we would pass a variable from this function to this function. So recall that if we wanted to call print names, we could say print names. And that would call the function. Um, so now if we run this, it should ask me for a name. And it says your name is. So that's great. We can see that it's getting from here to here. Um, but as you can see, my name didn't come up. Well, that's because I've got to get my name from the main function to print names. The way I do that is by throwing that variable. I pass it by putting it inside of my call. So user name. Now this should look familiar, right? You guys have been passing variables to functions since your first class. This is a function called input. And what you're passing to it is the value, what is your name? So you've been doing this all along. You just didn't know it because you never saw inside the functions. So I'm passing user name to print names. Now if I hit run, still not gonna do anything new. So there's a problem here. Here in line eight, can say that it's trying to print past this thing. Uh, oh, well, that's, that's syntax. Let's fix that first. Username has to come here to be caught. And I gotta find my syntax error. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, let's fix that right quick. That's what happens when you click on things. All right, so we got this thing. Uh, nothing will happen. What is your name? You put in your name. I love showing my errors and you can see that it's like totally normal to have to debug things, right? So I need to pass it as you saw me start to do when I typed wrong. If I put username here, what that does is that passes it to print names. Now that's not enough because you'll see if we run this thing right now and I put in my name, I get this error. Don't ignore the errors, they mean something. It's saying, hey, this doesn't work. If I follow it down, it says line 15 is calling line eight. Line eight is trying to pass something, um, but it didn't accept anything, right? So line eight, yep, it's trying to pass something, um, but where it was trying to pass, which is print names, doesn't accept anything. Well, that's true because it has to catch it here, right? So I need the function here to catch whatever I'm passing. So this passes the name value, Mr. B. This catches the name value, Mr. B. Doesn't matter what I call it. I could call this thing name, username, Bubba, X, Y, Z, P, D, Q, doesn't matter. Remember the functions don't know anything about each other. They just know that they pass information back and forth. And now I put name here, we can see that it moves. What is your name? I put in Mr. B, and you can see that now this function catches the value of Mr. B and prints it out. 